and now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, highs were once again in the 80s, but the 90s were not too far away from us today, and we are going to be getting back into that heading into tomorrow. We're talking about temperatures rising up once again between 10 to 15 degrees above normal. If there is a little silver lining, the good news is tomorrow it's not going to be as humid as what we saw in the beginning of the work week with those 90 degree temperatures and the heat index values approaching near over 100 degrees. But over the next seven days, as we take it full screen, it is going to be turning more quiet and cooler. After a cold front moves in on Saturday, our temperatures will be remaining very close to the normal with values anywhere from a couple degrees above normal or a couple degrees below normal with our normal highs getting up to 80 degrees by the end of next week's work week. As for right now, a high pressure moving off to the east and we have the return flow from the southwest. So that's starting to bring in more of the tropical air mass into Wisconsin and dew points did slightly rise up today. It wasn't as dry as yesterday, but then as we head into tomorrow, we'll have another quiet day. It's just going to be pretty hot outside. The dew points not too bad. The heat index is expected to stay below 100, so we're not expecting any heat advisories compared to what we saw on Monday and Tuesday. Now, as this area of low pressure and its associated cold front starts to get a little bit closer into northeast Wisconsin, there will be a slight increased chance of some thunderstorms. We're not expecting anything to be severe. There's a marginal risk to the western part of the state and also a slight risk for severe storms. On Saturday, as this area of low pressure now moves across the state of Wisconsin, it is going to be weakening. There will still be a chance of some severe weather, a marginal risk down in Indiana or uh, Iowa in, in uh, Illinois. But for us, just a general thunderstorm highlighted outlook. So Skycast keeps us mostly clear tonight. Waking up tomorrow morning with a lot of sunshine might have a pop up shower or storm in the afternoon. I do have that in the forecast. Can't rule that out, especially with it being so hot and a little bit humid out there. But I think we'll have more widespread showers and storms on uh, Saturday if you want to compare the two. Highs tomorrow, lower 90s, normal high 79. It's going to be a toasty one to end the work week. Then getting into Saturday, here comes some scattered showers and storms rolling in here. It's not going to be heavy downpours, but certainly nonetheless, a little bit of precipitation is expected before the sunshine returns on Sunday. A little breezy, winds out of the west about uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, but highs will be in the upper 70s. Rainfall totals about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So like I mentioned, not expecting a heavy Downfall, uh, downpour of rainfall. 66 tonight, calm winds, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, getting into the lower 90s. We'll have a wind coming in out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. 84 on Saturday, a few additional isolated showers and storms. 77 on Sunday, 76 on Monday, and then a slight chance of storms Tuesday and Thursday with highs in the lower 80s.